Hey everybody, it's Matt, and what you are seeing behind me are the remnants of what was just last month a massive work of art known as Veal's Ice Tree. And this year's ice tree is particularly special to me because I got the privilege to be part of the creation of the ice tree. And it all started about a year and a half ago. I moved into this suburban Indianapolis neighborhood. And as winter was coming, everybody was telling me, you have to go check out this ice tree. You have to go check it out. And so I did, and I was blown away. I fell in love with it. I liked them on Facebook, and I followed them all through the summertime waiting for next year's ice tree. And on November 22nd, they posted on their Facebook that they needed help raising the frame for the ice tree, and they needed some photographers. So, I threw my GoPros in my bag, and I came on down here. Here I met John and Winter. They are second and third generation ice tree builders, and they quickly taught me how they build the frame of what will eventually become this enormous work of art. As we work, John tells me about how his family has been building this seasonal attraction since 1961, when it was all started by his father, the first generation ice cream builder. So they show me how they use branches and old wood to make teepee-like structures, and then tie it all together with twine. And then they get it super tall and fill the inside at the bottom with brush and smaller branches later. So now that the frame is built, all that's left to do is wait for the weather to get cold enough to turn the hoses on. And that day came on December 28th. So by December 30th, I had to go for a visit and I was surprised to see the ice had already grabbed hold. I decided to go back on day three for a time lapse of the sunrise. Over the next week, the ice tree grew rapidly, and by January 8th, it was already a spectacular sight to see. And it was on this day that I got the call from Janet, a second generation ice tree builder, that it was time to color the tree.
Janet is quite the artist, as you can see here, as she took her time to put the magical touch on this beautiful tree. As Janet worked, she told me stories of her father, the first generation ice tree builder, and how he accidentally built the first ice tree. He turned on the water outside during the winter attempting to make a sheet of ice on the hill next to their home so that the kids could sled on, but a windy night carried the water onto the bushes near their home and created the first ice tree. And it's been a family tradition ever since. And as the winter rolled on, the ice tree just grew and grew to approximately 50 feet this year. And boy, was it a glorious sight to see. So this is what's left of the ice tree. It's April 12th, it's pretty much melted and gone. But the secret of the ice tree is that it's never gone at all. I mean, this thing keeps growing and it's not just existing in the winter time, it just blooms in the winter time. And that's when its roots reach out and touch the hearts of everyone that comes down here to see this thing. And every year those roots grow further and longer and wider and are reaching people around the world. And what this thing represents really is no secret at all it's a family's love and proof living proof that a family's love is can be so strong that it can take root and grow so big that people around the world can see it and that's just amazing to me so thank you all for sharing this with me this journey and please subscribe to matt's big dream to share the rest of my adventures and um, please take check out veal's ice tree on facebook definitely want to do that and please come down and see this thing you'll love it i promise